edition of What a Horse, and I've got the Williams yes. clan back with me today. Yes, sir. You, you took a trip, went to Louisiana, and yes. missed the cold weather. Yeah. It I was mean, pretty warm down there. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't here, but <laughs> it, on Friday night, that really hurt the horse show, too, because Friday night, it was pretty chilly and raining, uh -huh. and, but now Saturday night, the, the show picked up. And, but it was inside. So okay. That's a good deal. Well, I tell you, we got a, several things to go over and some real good videos, some nice horses we're going to show. But first, we're going to take a short pause for our sponsors, and we will be right back. <laughs> It's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And JD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. The Spring Fun Show will be held May 26th through the 28th at the Calsonic Arena in Shelbyville, Tennessee. This premier three-night show promises to be fun and entertaining, so bring the whole family. From the time the first horse enters the ring until the last horse takes its victory pass wearing the championship class blue ribbon, you will be treated to the best the walking horse industry has to offer. Join us starting May 26th at Calsonic Arena in Shelbyville, Tennessee. For more information, call 931-684-5915. Why you which one? So uh, get your cat off from here, sit yourself in the rooms. Want everybody to know the rooms of the games we're here today? So, yo, the fifty, so, Mark Yelchi, so, Jimari. Open competition, four times amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931 389 6983 for breeding information. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> You know, Jerry, we've we've got a little some shows going on, but mm -hmm. nothing this weekend except I will say this: at the uh, SW Beach Memorial Showgrounds, there's going to be a country boy show. Dave Robert does a good job putting them things. He on. does a wonderful this, job. Yeah, this starts at 5 p.m. They got 35 classes, and I bet money uh, Woody Woodruff will be there. I'm gonna say so. Yeah. 
But now you're going to Sevierville. I'm going to Sevierville to the horse show. They'll miss you here. Yeah. I wish I was there at that show right there. <laughs> well, I tell a you, lot of fun. I'm thinking very seriously about being there because everybody keeps telling me how much fun it is. I want to see. But I, that way I can get some good video and everything down there. Just run on back and, and get good night's sleep. You have a blast, I tell you. I, I enjoy going to them shows. Well, there's a lot of people goes to them. And, and this, this is just a another way to show our flat shot horses. Because I'm telling you, and people... Believe me when I say this, I have compared prices on registered Tennessee walking horses and non-registered and what they are bringing. And people say, well, I want to wait and see if the horse makes before I register. Yes. It's a bad idea. No. Number one, it's going to cost you more to register him later. But the horses right now, registered Tennessee walking horses, are bringing 35% more yeah. than non-registered. And a lot of them, they're selling for fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Now that 35%, that's a lot that's of difference. A, you're exactly right. For a registration fee that I believe you still get a uh, free registration. Or uh, now you get a free registration with your membership. But like these prices right here, those, both of those were non-registered Tennessee walking horses. Mm -hmm. So the one that really brought the money was registered. Look down yeah. at the bottom. Mm -hmm. But across the board, I looked at some other registered walking horses. They bring in $25,000, dollars $40,000. Something for people to look well, at. Well, you take the guesswork on how old the horse is and everything yeah. else so you can know what he's by and, right. well, and all that stuff. So, the, I mean, anybody can register or put a horse on an auction and say he's He's a walking horse. horse. That's right. But he's non-registered. What does that mean? He could be anything. But if you got the registration papers, you hand them to us. Big, big you're deal. exactly right. You got the Mid-South Walk Horse Show is in Parker's Crossroads. A lot of people going there. Yeah. That's May 13th. Gary Gilmore for uh, more information. Seven. Uh, let me see, seven three one six nine three six nine seven eight. Jamie Lawrence going to judge down there. That's 6 p.m. Central Time. Yes. Now, here comes the, the catch. You're going to Eastern Time. He's, that's right. Smoky Mountain Classic, May 14th. Sevierville, Tennessee. Contact Monica Tipton. Tipton. 865-661-2591. And Brent Colburn will be the judge. And that one starts at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Yeah. But then we're back here again for uh, the Spring Fun Show. I'm looking forward to that. Me too. That's going to be a blast. 26th through the 28th at Cal Sonic. Call Celebration, 931-684-5915. Start time, 6 o'clock. Here's a good thing. Lee Boyd. I'm looking forward to watching Lee Judge. Mm -hmm. She's a nice young lady. She sang, does great with the National Anthem. Derek Bonner and Jamie Bradshaw will... Join her in center ring for the judging. So I'm all for it. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be uh, this year's fun show. I, I just think it's, I, I really do. I believe it'll be, I believe it'll be huge. I believe it will. I, I believe, think a lot of people want to come. A lot of people be interested in want to come see everything. And, and so many good horses will be there. Well, That's they, the biggest thing. They've kind of laid off, you know, showing a lot of people not showing the way they have been in the past. I guess a lot of that has to do with the gas and, and the cost. Yeah. But the fun show is just a prelude to our other three night events plus celebration. Celebration, that's right. And, and it plays a big part in it. Big part. But I am I am interested in this country boy show and I'm also interested in the flat shot horses out here because I, I get calls. I got one today from a lady from North Carolina. Her name's Susan Jennings. She is uh, in Nashville for a, uh, a it's a, one of these shows that they have. I think this one is for car washers or something. Okay. But uh, she was asking me about the walking horses and, and the way they was. She had seen some, some of the videos that we'd put out, and she used to have a Palomino. So we've got a lot of interest out there. I know that I heard that uh, there was a guy from, uh, I believe it was Israel, called uh, Sugar Creek 
wanting to breed to one of the studs down there, but there, there's a question in shipping semen. Yes. To Israel. Mm -hmm. So it, I mean, it, it's just one thing right after another, but everybody, when you put it all in a cap, the, the, this, our horse is doing great. Our oh, horse is a wonderful horse, great horse. Well, now, they could be like you. You've got, how many different breeds you got out San Cruz, out at Uncle Nearest right now? Well, we got about five or six different breeds out there. You know, mm -hmm. you got some spotted horses. Got some spotted you, horses. We got some hunter jumper horses. We got some quarter horses. Walking horses, horse horses. <laughs> well, we got any can beat that Kentucky Derby winner? I don't know, but that was, that was pretty lucky. You know, didn't pay that much that much money for it, and they end up beating all them horses with all that money. He, he was what was he gave thirty thousand dollars for that horse in a claiming class. Yes. And he won one point eight million. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'd rather been the guy that said the heck with it. I'm gonna bet on the long shot. Th that's right. Now he he could have. Uh, Lord have mercy, <laughs> he could have cleaned up. And I heard that we did have one trainer that told uh, Jimmy McConnell, said, bet on this horse right here for me. And he won. He, he won so much, I think yeah. he's one of them at place. Place, okay. Place, so he, he didn't come away a complete loser. Yeah. But uh, but you was cooking Cajun food. Cooking Cajun food, <laughs> some gumbo. Yes, yeah, right. T tell us a little bit, Jerry. I want everybody to hear this. I watched some video that you sent up here about the horse shows that they have down there. Oh, it is like a big party. I mean, that's pretty much everybody just bring their horses out and they just kind of have fun and go riding them and stuff like that. But I mean, they have a, a real good time. Well, I noticed there was a judge out there. Yeah, they there. have a judge out there. And, uh -huh. uh, I've seen ladies, men. Kids. They don't have to wear no, no suit, suit no or nothing. They just no. come, you know, and, and they show their horse. You know what, they're, they're kind of like a, a pajama party it's back pretty much, three yeah. years ago. Go. But I like how this breed started a long time ago when it first started. That's how pretty much how it is. Everybody's meeting up at one place and show their horse off. Come on out and ride. Right, that's, that's right. Mm -hmm. You know, it would be cool. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. what, what y'all ought to have at Uncle Nearest. Come as you are. Come as you are and just come and ride. Let's, let's just ride and see what you got. That's right. You know, used to, a lot of us did that at the barns. Mm -hmm. You know, we just go out on Saturday, cook out, drive horses. Yeah. And then claim we had the best, best horse. That's you exactly right. I know right. my horse was better than yours, <laughs> ain't no doubt about it. But, but I've been watching out there. We had uh, little B.B. Beasley come out there the other day to ride Sly. And everybody's talking about her and the horse. But I had an old friend that I went to school with messaged me on Facebook and said that she'd like to come and ride Sly too. So I just told her to come on down. She, she right. lives in New York, so she drives all the way down here. He's a very nice horse, you, very easy horse to ride. You, and everybody well, you're going to have to have him ready if she drives all the way down here from New York. Yeah, I'll just call and say she's here. That's right. Just come on anytime. He's ready anytime. Hey, you know, it's, it's fun to watch them, though, when, when different people come to the barn. Some of them, they want to ride. Some of them, they just want to look. look yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know there was a group in there the other day that was making a... Uh, comment about walking through the the aisle there yeah and the way these horses running up there sticking their head out Pe people don't realize the everything that goes on i know when beth beasley was there she said i don't have any more peppermints but that's sly was wanting a biscuit oh yeah you know he, he likes them apple treats and so does sci-fi oh both yeah of them both of them like all them. of them do well i tell you what jerry we got the horse show this weekend, but you're going to be in a survival. Yes. So Brent's going to be judging that one. Yes. But I'm going to tell you, Jamie Bradshaw is one of the best judges I've seen. He will be judging Parker's Crossroads, so I'm going to make a bet Parker's Crossroads has a bunch of people. Oh, yeah. I would they, say they'll so. have a big they show have a big there. Show. Now, Smoky Mountains always do because they pull them from all the oh. way around. And that's a nice place that they have. That's, that's well, a lot of these people will leave the Smoky Mountain show and come on to Tennessee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I would imagine we'll see several of them just yeah. go on and go into their summer barn so, and start getting ready for the fun for the, show. For the fun show. You're right. All right. I tell you what, we've got some video. And this right here is from the Extravaganza, which was that's a good show. Yeah. Now, Carol Mistledine did a fine job of bringing this, putting this show together. Didn't, didn't have anybody overcrowded. It was a little cool, but yeah. it wasn't bad. Mm -hmm. And er everybody just had a good time, really. But there was a lot of good horses. 
So let's watch some video. Queen Elizabeth, you got that jacket, that shirt on. Yeah. I tell you what, these kids, they, they're getting into this now, more and more. They really like it. I tell you, you know, even with that little boy right there, I mean, and all the little kids, I mean, when you can see the expression on their face when they get on them horses, it, it's business once all of them i seen. i seen that this weekend down in uh, Alabama. Uh, we're going to have another victory pass a little bit later. Roy Wester's granddaughter was on. He's the whole shebang. Uh -huh. Remember that horse? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Greg, you show that horse. It, it, this little girl said, he said, I got it for a lesson horse. He said, I was going to sell it, but he said, I can't now. Yeah. Right there. Now, we're talking about kids that can ride. Now, this one right here, he knows how to ride a horse. A young fellow know how to ride now. He does a good job. Well, his granddad was, was a good horseman too. Oh yeah. He, he oh Lord to, yeah. yeah. I tell you what, these kids, they they learn from experienced people. Yes. And every one of them will give them a little tip here and a little tip there. And before you know it, you, you've got a horseman out there that's a child. You know, here in about another 15, 20 years, he might be trying to have his own boy training, that's you fact. know? Might not take him that long. Yeah. And there's Polly Gray and Tanner Burks for Shane Porterfield. Fellas, y'all better be watching that mare right there because now she is something else. That's the second yeah. time that she has won in that arena. I'm so glad they started that class, that two-year World Grand Champion Philly class. Okay, right there's I, one that's gonna be knocking on the back door right. of that class. Now they can get ready for it. Shane does it. Shane's got some good horses. I am, you know, and Jake Jacobs. Our performance amateur winner. Congratulations. To the Scribner crew and to the Jacobs family here on this win, our amateur performance. I'll tell you, Jake is a real nice guy. Yes, he is. He really goes out of his way to help every show. Now, yeah. he does. He works on their tracks. He does everything he can. And then he, and he, don't, he goes in there, and if he gets beat, he knows he got yeah. beat. Well, that ain't and so much of a, why. just on the horse business, he's just a person as general as that's him. It. He's a real good man. This, after I know a lot of people that he have helped out. He's a super good person, no doubt about that. Here's Honor's Image, four-year-old open winner, and Tanner Burks. Tell you what, now, Tanner's making a name for himself. Yeah. He's one Tanner's of these young real, guns that's, that's right. getting it done. Real talented, real talented. But as again, his dad was a good horseman too. Oh yeah. And his brother, that whole Burke's family is nice people. Well, they can train them, shoe them, and do whatever you want. I wonder if any of them's a veterinarian. You reckon? I don't know. You might be a bootleg veterinarian. <laughs> bootleg veterinarian. Yeah. But I mean, right there, born a maverick and Bob Adcock. Now he. He's vacationing right now. He'll be back for the fun it's show, though. Thank you, Bob. And I love that horse. All right. Born a Maverick. Tell you what, that horse gets your attention he quick does. now. He's got that look about him. Yes, he does. Real chromed up real well. Oh, yeah. You know, that, that's surprising that he's colored up like that. Yeah. <laughs> and right here is, I am honored. And Don, Don and Lucky Collins. 
Bink does a good job of that horse. Yeah, he does. Don was in Alabama the other night. He was looking good. He's feeling a lot better. I talked yeah, to him yeah. earlier today. Uh, Lucky's a big part of this answer. Yes, sir. She is. Link have really helped this horse a lot. That was a good show they had yeah, over it. Yeah. She did mm -hmm. a fine job of putting it on. And when nobody left there unhappy, I don't think, except the ones that didn't win. Yeah. Always. I happy. believe some of the ones that didn't win were still happy. <laughs> you well, know, as the show went on. You well, know, a lot of them are just happy with her ride. I talked to a lady right. yesterday that said, as long as I have a good ride, I'm happy. She said, because I know I can't, I can't win everything. I just don't want to lose everything. I tell you, come from a horse trainer's Part of it, that's the best customer to have, and one that's happy regardless. As long as that oh, horse yeah. pleased them, that's, the, that's all you that's got all to believe. You, get to that's you right. like me, don't you? Yes, I like <laughs> you. I like you. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a short pause for our sponsors, and we will be right back. <laughs> Jen DeWin started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaise Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old grand championship, and then Jen would go on to win world championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With world and world grand championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. A Jen DeWin is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. Tired of paying for monthly telephone service, expensive long-distance bills, and all those crazy taxes? Are you sick of spending money on telephone equipment, maintenance contracts, and service calls, all for a phone system that shackles you to 100-year-old technology and your desk? Stop it. It's time to ship your phone system to the cloud. What can the cloud do for you? Bring together remote offices, workers, and employees in the field. Make sure that you'll never miss calls by delivering them to multiple devices. Modernize faxing by allowing multiple faxes to be sent and received at once and delivered to email. Get your voicemail messages instantly through email, too. And take advantage of an endless supply of customizable features. Host My Calls can deliver the cloud. All of this technology with low upfront costs and not one penny in capital expense. It's time for a phone solution you'll truly love from Host My Calls. Call the number below. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. I don't want anybody to forget the winner's circle. They have free shipping for any order over $100, and they do support our industry on a regular basis. So please remember the winner's circle when you're getting your equine needs. It's Jerry Harris and Jim Fuller with the latest in the world of horses, including information and clips from area shows. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> show from Bedford County uh -huh. and it, this was a great show over there a lot of good horses real good horses yes. in there and for a great cause that, that's one thing that oh, I can is. say it, it right. helps a lot of people there she is I am big enough in Maxine Beasley
Them guys, young girls, guys, them girls can flat ride. Oh, they can. They are, they can. And they really enjoy it. Oh, they have a ball. They really enjoy it. One of them a lot more aggressive than the other, and I think it's Maxine is the one that's aggressive. BB's kind of laid back. Yeah. But both, both of them, them does both a, of them get it, get the job does done. A real job. They do a real good job. Bill just had to get in the picture, Pitching, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it goes back to talking about a ride. Yeah. I tell you what, now this young lady right here, mighty proud of her. Yeah. So she goes in there, and she, she shows quite a bit and does real well. Yeah. And her mother, Christy, is, uh, was, lives in Franklin County, works with First Vision, but she is uh, running for trustee for Franklin County okay. and uh, as an independent uh -huh. because she wants to serve both, both sides. sides. Yeah, Can't beat that. You're right. There's Zorro Jr. and John Allen Callaway for Beth Beasley, four-year-old open. Here's another real good horse. Yeah. He shakes that head, walks all over. That's the kind you want to wake up every morning and can't wait to ride. That's it. <laughs> Right here is MBP and Jerry Beatty. This was a canter class, I'm gonna tell you. I really like Jerry. Yeah. I, I love that horse out there in that class. That's another good horse right there. I thought he made a tremendous show. Right, there's a good stallion? Try. Do what? Is he still a stallion? Or he, no, he no, he's guilty. He's guilty. Right here is honors to Mr. Guest, Samantha Green. Here's another one. Yes. I, I thought this horse was outstanding. He's a nice horse, a real nice horse. Kevin Green walking horse farm, I'll be proud of him. Yeah. And this young man, you and I could sit here and talk forever today. Oh, yeah. And not cover everything about this young man, but I watch him ride. Now, buddy, he said, Ronnie Spears always held his hands, hands up, up like mm -hmm. that. Daniel's a fine young man. Larry and Elsie are pretty, pretty good, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, those are his grandparents, and they love their grandkids, yeah, buddy. That's another thing about this industry. It is family. family. Yeah. Right, right here is I'm Charlie Black, and Dahlia Smith R for Smith and R. Here's your amateur three-year-old stallion. It's going to be a tough division. Oh, yeah. Oh, Dahlia, you know, she can get out of a horse, too, now. Hey. She can... She's a rider. She's a veterinarian. She can do just about anything. Yeah. One, she'd probably shoe one if she had to. <laughs> yeah. Real nice person to be around, talk oh, to, yeah. and everything. Real pleasant. Her and Kenny, all of them. Oh are. yeah, Kenny is. He's a, he's a good guy. Right there. Hey. It was a, I'm on some gun right there. I'm gonna say it. To me, that's the best one on the grounds. I mean, he could get it done. Yeah. Cavender and Knox Blackburn for Bruce and Robin McDonald. When when he come in, he he said, "Hey, look here," and you didn't quit watching him. Yep, you're right. Outstanding horse. 
you'll hear about that horse for a very long time right there. Oh yeah, he's gonna be around for a while. And I'm glad to see Knox was something like that. I mean, there's a yeah. world grand champion trainer. He's had a bunch of good ones. And, and right there is going to be oh, another yeah. good one out there. Well, i tell you what we're going to do now. We're going to lock and load. And we're going to go to the rain and the cold. Rain and the cold. Because that's where we went from having a cover. We went straight to the rain and the cold over its rock pile. Uh -huh. But these, these horse show people, they're just like football fans. <laughs> It doesn't make it could have been snowing out there. They'd still be. Oh yeah, that's about. You really into the horses? You really you don't care? Well, you better get ready to ride in the rain, snow, sleet, hail storm, rock throwing. Just get it done. Here's your two-year-old Marion Gilding class. This is a pretty good class right here. This was one I was telling you about. That Polly Gray. Uh huh. She got showed over here earlier in one. Came back and said, hey, I'll just pick up where I left off. One again. Polly Gray was took the blue ribbon with Tanner Burks for Shane Porterfield. She's toxic. Ryan Gannon for Travis Hale. And Van Morrison, Thomas Derrickson for Steve and Pat Wilson. And then I am sassy Link Webb for Don Collins. Seemed like a good class right here. It was a good class. Kind of hate I missed this show. There's some good horses in there. I'm going to tell you what, that Thomas does a real good job, too. He is. Well, well the product of your raisins, Jerry. You know that yeah. as well as I do. Job over the breeder. Yeah. People are telling me. That's a class full of it. Two yos right there. Uh, there he is, Holly uh, Gray and Tanner Burks for Shane Porterfield. Tanner Burks and Holly Gray, 402, the number to the blue. This, this two-year-old is going to heat up yeah. now. Mm -hmm. It is. It's going to get hot. Take a look at our blue ribbon winner. That's Holly Gray. Going to get hot. Blue ribbon ride. Making the blue ribbon presentations. Tanner Burks in the saddle for Shane Porterfield, Murfreesboro. Real nice. Here's your youth, 17 and under. I'm gonna tell you something real good about this class right here. Name the winners first. Jen's Lucky Penny and Jocelyn Lachlan took the blue for Janie Chapman. I'm Coach Cal and Allie Joe Jacobs. Jose the Champ, Cole McCormick. Pitbull, Caitlin Dusale, and she's thrown shade. Storm Sims finished out the ribbon. This lady said, uh, told me, she said, why does he want to put Allie Joe out there with their kids that are so much older than her? Because she's 11 and she's yeah. 17 and 9. Uh -huh. And Jake had a very good answer. He said, it's not about the winning. It's about the experience yeah. and learning. Yeah. And to me, She's learning a lot. That's right. And she made a heck of a show in this class. She did. She got reserved. And that teaches her, you don't get a blue ribbon every time yeah. you go out. Mm -hmm. But I thought it was. But her being so little with all them older kids in there. Yeah, she did. So that just, that just helped her a lot. More experience, well, it, like you say. She made her realize, but she enjoyed showing. Yeah. Jake told me she had a ball out there showing. Uh -huh. You know, it's kind of like in, in Little League, these kids come up 10, 
play with 11s and 12s. That's right. That tickles them to death. That's right. Because that makes them one of the big people. But she made a hell of a show, and she was in there with some good. Yes. That Caitlin DeSalle was on a good horse. Yeah. Of course, Jocelyn was on a good one when she won the class. Uh -huh. Jocelyn's a good softball player, too, but yeah. she can hum the ball. But she did admit she couldn't do it 90 miles an hour. <laughs> That's a nice horse. Oh, there were several good horses out there. Coach Cal, the world grand champion. Oh, um. Every week they learn, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because I, even I mentioned it to Jake, she slowed down some on that horse. She was yeah. kind of uh -huh. racing with him, then she slowed him down. Nice horse right there, real nice. I would take credit for this because of the show that I helped with last year. We had the 11s and 12s yeah. in there for 17 and under, but I won't. <laughs> but I think they ought to show together more often yeah. myself. Teach them, it just teaches them something. Right there was your winner, Jocelyn. And right here is Coach Cal and Allie Jo Jacobs. And I thought she made a tremendous show. She did. And every time she goes out on this horse, she's getting better and better. Yeah. Jake told me she, she was asked where a little man was because he wasn't in there in this class. <laughs> and uh, he said, well, this is a different class than y'all show him. The only thing she knew, she's going to show her. Yeah. Thing about it. It's a product of the Lee Stewart Academy. Okay, yeah, that's right. Right here is amateur four-year-old Mares and Gildens. This was a good class too. Grayton Beach took the blue with Jake Jacobs in the saddle. Made to honor, Lisa Baum was reserved. Shady Hawkins, Linda Gerard, See Me Walk and Shake, Sister Milligan, and entitled to a secret, Hunter Gray has finished out the ribbons. There's that great piece. Yeah. I do believe Sister Milligan would enter the stick horse class. That's right. She would show anything. She wouldn't care. She'd probably do lead line things. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice horse. Jake got him a, a bunch of nice horses, real oh, nice yeah, horses. He, he, he's gone out and found him some good horses, horses now. That's right. He's got a three-year-old that's real good. That he just got to settle into himself. Yeah. I'd love to see more shows over there at the Rock Pile. Yeah. I really I would. Do. I do too. 4-H used to be there. Graydon Beach, Jake Jacobs. Oh, 
Jake said it's a good saddle. Oh, yeah. Right here's your four-year-old open. That's a good class. Yep. Honors image. Tanner Burks took the blue for Shane Porterfield. A country mile in Justin Harris for the Russell Wright family. And Cointer, Blake Sims for Tim yes. and Laura Con Cochran. But it was Honor's image right there. Oh yeah. Tell you what, that's a nice horse. Real nice horse. I like the way he sets the problem. Me too. I like it. Everything about him. Everything. Ain't nothing not to like about that horse. Yep. Four-year-old open winner. I know Shane, Shane's got some good horses. Oh, yeah, he now, does. He has bought him some good, good ones, horses. too. Shane's a real nice guy, too. Oh, yeah, I mean, he, just, he just down to earth, talk to you. I like talking to him. I do, too. He just Good guy. Tanner just goes about his business. He's kind of quiet. Yeah. <laughs> but he gets the job done. Hey, that's all that matters. He as long gets as you the get the job done. That's right. He's... You don't have to say a lot. I know a lot of these trainers don't say a lot. Some of them point a camera at them, they run. That's right. I've seen them do it. <laughs> all right, we're going to take a short pause for our sponsors. We'll be right back with some more video in just a moment. I had a knee replacement, so they've got me in life care, which I'm very, very thankful for. I couldn't garden, I couldn't do my flower beds, I can't chase my little dogs. I have been in several therapy sessions for knees and back and that's the best therapist i believe i've ever been to it's tremendous because i'm able to walk again but if it wasn't for the care i wouldn't be where i am let us champion your recovery life care center of tullahoma you know my friends think i know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry and i do know a lot but not everything i do know one thing though my father told me i could find out anything i needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com and you know what he was right everything from single night shows to multi-night shows sibling and progeny searches rider cup standing stallion reports they even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news it's all right there at the tip of my fingers when i go to walking HorseReport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> All right. Here, here's where it gets interesting. Alabama. Uh-huh. Lee Stewart. Not only a good instructor, she showed everybody that she, she knew how to tie horses, too. However, the first class down there was lead line. Uh -huh. You wouldn't have fit in with this bunch. Probably wouldn't have. Because someone said, boy, them lead line ponies are getting big. Ain't they? <laughs> <laughs> but the lead line class was good, very good. But I, I'm going to tell you, Roy Wester, he, uh, he, he went and bought that horse right there for his granddaughter. Now, you know who that horse is? What horse is that? He's the whole shebang. Greg, remember Greg rode that yeah, horse, uh -huh. showed that horse for years. We went down, I went down through the list with Roy about the different people that had showed that horse and it was unreal. How many different people had showed that horse? He's the whole shebang in Mackenzie Western. 
But you know, it ain't a real bad idea. No. no. Jerry. Them horses, them kids can grow up with them horses and turn around and can show them in a performance class. Lord, yes. And you can, you know. Just like that right there. Like He's that. 17. Yeah. And they said that, hey, you can go out there and ride him and, and he those are good lessons. And that's why he bought he bought that horse as a lesson that's horse yeah. for her. And ended up he let her show it there. Show it, that's right. And that, that's a to me that's a good that's idea. A, that's a good idea. But he, he won't be able to sell that horse now. Oh no, that little oh, she's unlocked on to oh, him, yeah. so he can forget that. Here's your youth eleven and under. This was a tough class. Miss Ebony Rose and John Weston Clark. He used to uh -huh. beat my whittling stick, put knots all in it. <laughs> now, now he's showing horses. Showing horses. Pride of Oopsie Doo and Brindley Boyce was reserved and Southern Attitude. Levi Parker finished out the ribbons. But it was Miss Ebony Rose and John Winston Clark right there. Yep. Now, that young man can flat oh, ride a horse. Ride. I've been a good mare for a long time, too. Oh, Lord, yeah. I think everybody rode that mare. Sudi rode yeah. it. Her granddaughter rode it. She's a nice mare. Now, John Weston's riding. They have some pretty good shows down there. They do. I'm going to tell you now, people say what they want to. Alabama puts on a great show. They, they don't, like, they have a $60 entry fee, and, and half of that is the inspection fee. fee. Yeah. But they have good horses. They got a good arena. And they got some great people, and all of it goes for a fantastic charity. Yes. That's what gets me, and, and those people just love working. Yeah. Right there was your winner. Now, here's your amateur three-year-old class. There's only two horses in here. That's a good horse right there, good three-year-old. That's the Black Panther. That horse was reserved. Okay. Now, right there, that was the winner. I am busting loose in Kelly Duchelle. Yes. What does that horse remind you of? Look at him. Busting loose? Yep, and he goes like the Heisman a lot. <laughs> he does? Yeah. So, and she rides him well. Oh, she rides real him well. well. Oh, yeah, she rides him real well. Yes. Tell you, he, he just, and here's, here's the great part about this horse. He showed Friday night, turned around and went to Alabama show so Saturday, Saturday night. And I guarantee you, he, he, was, he was good both nights. He was reserved one night and won it on Saturday night. She can ride too, she yes, likes to she ride. Yes, she can, she yeah. can flat ride a horse now. Her daughter can too. She yeah. shows her daughter's oh, a yeah. little rider. Now right there it is, Friday night. That's the tennis show. Uh-huh. Good right there. Hey. That horse is he got it together. Yeah. I'll tell you what tickled me about this lady though. She said. I had a great ride Friday night and a great ride Saturday yeah. night. Not there he is, right there on the wind. I'm busting loose in Kelly Duchelle, far Kelly Duchelle. That horse is just getting it now. I like that horse.
you saw yeah. different angles too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But I did, the thing I point out is people talk about how abused these horses are. Yeah. Abused horse don't you don't show that, that caliber of horse two nights in a row. That's a, you, you just don't have. You don't. That's right. They're very well treated, very well. Right here was a good class. This you use twelve to seventeen. A Super Bowl MVP and B.B. Beasley took the blue. The Pink Panther and Joanna Mitchell. Jose's Vindicator, Carolyn Wesley Way. Neon Cowboy, Riley Nichols and Pitbull finished out the ribbons. Oh, wait a minute, no they didn't. I am dressed up in Casey Crocker Bush. Oh, that's the difference. They got my, my pages mixed up here. That was it, the five places. I was thinking all this give it doing was five. Yeah. She can ride. Yes. BB, she's the one that came out and rode uh, on the slide. So, yeah. And mm -hmm. rode the socks off of him. She wants to come back. <laughs> I think what, what they want to do is she rides one way and her sister rides the other yeah. and us judge who's the best. Uh huh. I ain't buying into that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, no. let her I'll let their mother do it. That's right. She can't get in trouble, we can't. On stuff like that, you say, I plead the fifth. You know, Jamie Lawrence put some good horses oh, in yeah. the ring down there and he did. That Pink Panther, he has done oh, yeah. wonders for that Pink Panther. Tell you another one that he's done wonders. Ted who? Yeah. He had Ted back in there and, and he, he was outstanding in a show pleasure yeah. class. He looked great. Jamie does real well. Oh, he does yeah. real well. I've been knowing Jamie for a long time. Jamie's a good guy. He is. He really is. Well, that was again, another family. Super Bowl MVP and B.B. Beasley. You 12 to 17 winner. She sets, yeah, she up, sets both little girls set up in the saddle. saddle and that's yeah. what her mother does too. And they can right ride. there's her mother. Mm -hmm. Amateur four-year-old mares in Gildan. Quite the honor and Beth Beasley took the blue. Charlie's hollow point. Michaela Latham was reserved. The Mandalorian, D. Broom Yoder, not D. Broom. Dancing all night, Kelly McGee. And Huntress, Bart McWaters, finished out the ribbons. I tell you what, they get their riding honest because their mother can ride. Oh, yeah. You can flat ride a horse. This is a good class. It is. There's a lot of good horses down yeah. there. You missed a good horse show. Oh, I did. Lucky Collins showed a couple of good ones down there. She, I really thought she was winning a class, and uh, she kind of messed up once. Don said, well, she did it right in front of the judge. Yeah. <laughs> There she is. Yep. 
Now, John Allen's been showing that horse. Doing a good job with yeah. it. But I couldn't see nothing that she messed up anywhere. No. You know, walking, shaking, and getting it done. Yep. Well, you know, they've sold this arena, but I hope they keep having horse shows there. I, I really so do. Too. It's a real nice arena. I'd like to see them keep having them there because that's one place I, I really enjoy going. Yep. Quite an honor, quite the honor, I'm sorry, quite the honor in Beth Beasley, amateur four-year-old Marion Gilding winner. But that is a good arena. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's, it's, That's a good horse right there, too. Yeah, that is a good horse. Getting it done. Getting it done. All you can ask for it. Mm -hmm. Yep. I want to remind everybody this weekend in Belfast, Tennessee, at the SW Beach Memorial Showgrounds, they are going to have a country boy show. And I got a $10 bet that Woody Woodruff's going to be there. We're betting to him. No, no. You, that's, you're going to win that bet. <laughs> that's why you ain't going to bet. Gonna bet I tell you what, they do have a lot of fun at these shows. And, and I, I'd love to see everybody go down there and just have a good time. I know you're going up to Sevierville. Sevierville. That's yeah. going, that'll be a good show up there. <laughs> yeah. they, they'll be packed in Parker's Crossroads because you got two ends of the state yeah. that's having horse shows, so I, both of them ought to be pretty well be packed. Good shows. I hate when they're on top of each other yeah. the same night. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one thing we've got to look at in the future is have them have shows on different nights. Yeah. But I'm I'm looking. I'm thinking, looking forward to it, and I'm I honestly thinking about going down to that Belfast. I want to see it one time. Oh, it's know? a good show. It's a you good remember show. we used to go over and have the races on Sunday, yeah. and, and then we'd go to the Milky Way, uh -huh. and we had a horse show over there. we we done a little bit of everything, yeah. and uh, I enjoyed those shows. Oh, yeah. So uh, this is right Fun down time. Here. And they say anytime you go, you're going to see five, 600 people there anyway. Oh, yeah, so, you see a lot of people now. People yeah. come out of the woodworks. All the little horses that they have at home, that they trail ride, yeah. they'll bring them over to the show and, you know, and have fun. Hey, that's what the walking horse is about. That's right. That's what it's all about, that's is it. having fun. That's it. Don't forget, later this month, we got the Celebration Fun Show. It's a spring fun show. And then we've got the big sale on the 28th yeah. out, at right, out at Wiser Farm. So everybody get ready. That's out on 64th. Other than that, Jerry, I guess we'll see you next week. I appreciate You'll it. You'll be back from Survival, yes, right? Yes, sir. Well, I hope you go up there and whenever class you go in. I hope. I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best. Well, Y'all always do. Yeah. But I believe Jeremy tries harder than you. Yeah. <laughs> He's a lot younger than I am. Uh, well, you taught him well. You just keep him busy. <laughs> yeah. See everybody next week. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left. Hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse. I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.